talk to you about the comedic beauty of mathematics, and more specifically, the things that we learn through laughter. I will admit that I'm a diehard cat fanatic, so I took as many opportunities as possible to incorporate cats in here, so please don't with me. <laughs> it all started when I was in the middle of my master's program, and I was doing teaching at a high school. Uh, in, the midst of all the, in the midst of all the crying, sweaty, and anxiety attacks, I realized that I was developing relationships with my guiding teacher students, and we were having some pretty funny moments. But what began to hurt my feelings is that I was forgetting the details of these funny moments. And I wasn't able to actually share those experiences with other people. So I got a journal and I started to log in all the ridiculous things that I was hearing because they were such beautiful moments. Moments <laughs> like these. I asked, is this a linear equation? Miss, what about the 2xy? The x and y are being multiplied. That's how excited my students are to ask questions. <laughs> I don't know, Miss, maybe the two was just trying to be cute like that. <laughs> moment, there is a lesson to be learned. I learned that imagers often try to get sexy so that they can bring all their variables to the yard. And it set the tone for us to be comfortable with such beautiful moments. Just so you know, thumping on is a slang term for your ass. <laughs> to what he was setting up, I agree. Okay, distribute the negative one, now miss, drop that thumb that up. <laughs> now, while this, this mother's joke was like and inappropriate, I still did learn something. I learned maybe, um, drop it like it's hot as a mathematical phrase. Maybe Snoop Dogg was referring to distributive property. Maybe we can learn something from rap music. <laughs> So you don't think that I just want you to tell jokes to your students. Um, research shows that humor can increase students' creativity, lower students' anxiety, and the effective filter, and contribute to students' social and emotional development. There's a citation, so you have to believe me. <laughs> It makes me think that the students have checked out. When students are actually speaking, I know that they're willing to engage and collaborate. I mean, if it's quiet, you don't have the opportunity to experience such beautiful moments, like this one. Let's say I square some number x. In order to undo that operation, I need to take the square root. I figure we're cooking with gas now, so I ask. <laughs> so if I cube some number x, and then in order to undo that operation, I need to take the triangle root. <laughs> work on looking for and expressing regularity and repeated reasoning. In actuality, these types of responses reveal some other things about my students' thinking. <laughs> there are other advantages. Um, the laughter creates a positive classroom climate. Not only is there relationship building amongst the students, but I'm developing really close bonds with my students as well, and they're willing to take risks with the content instead of being scared to ask questions. But of course, there are some disadvantages as well. <laughs> getting back on track after a really good laugh. As the, as the teacher, there is no hesitation in making me the butt of a joke, which can be good and bad, and sometimes there's a very thin line between what's appropriate and what's not. But even inappropriate jokes create such beautiful moments. How do we verify that two functions are inverse functions? Show that f of g and g of f are both equals x. Okay, yeah, you have to do fog and golf. Hey, miss, fog off. <laughs> learning in the classroom. Remember that is the, um, the key focus here. And I like to make sure that I'm doing this in and out of the classroom. I created a Twitter and Instagram for my students um, so that I can infiltrate their lives with mathematics even when we're not in class. I want them to understand my humor just as much as I understand theirs. In and out of the classroom, there's such beautiful moments. About how much taller am I than the students standing next to me? You're about twice as tall as a shorter person. Okay, so you're a triangle, you're a square, and she's a triangle. Excuse me? Um, yeah, since the area of a triangle is half the area of a square, that means that she's a triangle and you're a square. Now, while this wasn't funny, this was really a joke, um, it was really funny and I laughed at the time because it was quite clever. And sometimes the jokes are more than just jokes when we actually teach our kids something. They reveal their understandings, beliefs, fears, and aspirations through comedy. So let your love for mathematics shine through comedy. No, you don't have to actually tell jokes every day or implement humor into every handout, but encourage students to explore mathematics um, through humor, through humor, 
Um, by the way, we're not laughing about Matthew. It's not on such beautiful moments. <laughs>